Hey guys, Will here from Zero Fox Given. Uh, today I am down in kind of northern Oklahoma with uh, Chase Hess from Daywalker TV. Uh, we are going to try to get on a couple coyotes. Um, we're going to hunt tonight, uh, kind of a couple day sets, and then we'll probably maybe hunt a little bit into the night. I don't know how much, uh, but tomorrow is probably going to be a much bigger day. We're going to do some day sets, and then we're also going to uh, get some pretty good night footage as well. Um, Chase promised me 30 coyotes uh, on this two-day hunt, so um, that, that, that's the plan. Um, I'm going to kind of hold him to it. Hey, three coyotes. Three? That's it? Oh, we we'll, could do that. We'll coyotes. at least three. promise three. We'll at least promise. All right, three guaranteed coyotes. If we hit them and they die. Okay, all right. Um, I'm pretty excited for this video. It's going to be great. It's always fun coming down here to Oklahoma and hunting uh, with Chase. Uh, I did it one other time before. Um, How many dogs did we see last time? Oh, man, I don't know. It was in the 20s, I would yeah, say. It was. We were night hunting. Um, kind of a, a mess up on my part. Uh, I was still running a 204 Ruger back then, and uh, I decided to change ammo um, right before I came down. And I changed to some 24 grain uh, hunting rounds, and man, those things were fast rounds. And the issue was they were just blowing right through dogs. I mean, we were just stacking rounds on dogs, and they were just just eating them um, so today since then I've changed up um, I'm running my uh, six Creed uh, with 87 grain and uh, Chase has his uh, six five Creed more I believe um, Bergera rifle um, and uh, we are gonna get on get on some dogs hopefully um, I'm kind of excited uh, we're trying out this new uh, chest pack uh, life is now outdoors sent us one to try uh, might be something we might start carrying I'm gonna uh, kind of give it a test run and then also uh, today we are trying out the warrior tripods that we just picked up in stock um, we are selling them um, this will be my first time running it um, so I'm pretty excited um, we're gonna try that out and see how it goes um, other than that you know stay tuned it should be a pretty good uh, pretty good day anything you want to add it's gonna Chase? be good it's gonna be good yeah I agree All we're right. gonna kill dogs it's Thir gonna happen. 30 dogs in two days <laughs> I mean that's what he said so <laughs> he's a man of his <laughs> word I'm holding him to <laughs> it okay all right so all right stay tuned He's running away. Yes. Okay. He's running away. Yeah. I'm videoing him. He's running away. 
Jesus and all the cows. What's that? I know who 
those cows weren't there, I could just toke him right where he's at, but But all I can see is just the top of his head. He's still moving left, moving back towards that dead tree. Yeah, he's right. Oh, he's heading straight to us. Straight to us. He's on the other side of that fence. 298, right to the left of that, or right to the right of that pole, in front of that dead tree. He's bounding. His body's going. There he goes. I see him. He's to the right. Ready? Yeah, he did. I see him. I mean, I took him. Oh, yeah, you took him. I think he's going to lay over there dead. Nice! Yes, sir! We worked for that yeah, one, dude. We worked, dude. Was there more than one? Yeah, there, I think there's a second one further out there, but that grass is so tall. Um, God, I can't lie. I, I didn't think he was going to come in, man. We were sitting, we were kind of sitting ducks out here. Well, and I knew <laughs> the way he was stopping, he, he just kept getting closer. Man, we played. Mess around and get closer. Yeah. I'm like, he has the body language. He's yeah. not scared. He's more intrigued. Yeah. Well, we're running out of time, so we, we better go grab him yeah, while we yeah. can. I bet he's laying over there, Dad. He, he, I mean, you stoned him, you know what I mean? Oh. All right. Here we are. We're starting our third set. Uh, first set. First set was dry. Uh, second set, called in a dog. Uh, shot him about 200 yards. Chase got some awesome footage of it. Um, right now we're setting up. Chase has his places loaded with dogs. How many do you think we'll kill him? Here. That's what I'm hearing. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys. We had three day stands. Shot one coyote on the second stand. Um, we had a coyote checked up about 800 yards um, on this third stand. First one was dry. And Chase was going to try to take a pop at him, but we figured we'd wait because we thought he was going to come in. And he ended up laying down out at 800 yards. We couldn't see him in the tall grass. And it pretty much got too dark. So now we are going into a nightstand or two. I'm not sure exactly how many nightstands we're going to do tonight. Like I said before, tomorrow is going to be the longer night of hunting. So we'll uh, get into a few nightstands and um, see how that goes. See him. Look at that. Oh, it's a pup too. Just a little guy. This is probably, probably a uh, 
first year the uh, old six creed did some work on look at the size of the ticks on him there but uh the good news is I got my yoke ropes dragged right here. We're gonna hook him up and drag him out. Came out here for day two of coyote hunting. <laughs> and we're we're doing some climbing. I don't know at what point what I what I got myself into. But we're gonna see how it goes. If you uh, get stuck or need help, Chase, just say help. And, uh, you can't we'll shoot coyotes from down here, apparently. Yeah, I guess not. It looks <laughs> looks like you can, but <laughs> All right, guys. Right to the right of that pond. We've seen, we've seen him walking around in there quite a bit. Yeah, I'm kind of known for an intro here, Chase. Oh, yeah, Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Come on. Hey, guys. Will here from Zero Fox Given. I am here with Mid America Optics. He asked for me not to share his name because of his spam calls. We'll just call him Zach. <laughs> and then we got Chase from Daywalker TV right there. And then we got Chase's buddy tagging along tonight, too. We have a pretty sick setup. We got four rifles, six ladders, six ladders, three hundred cows, and uh, five pastures. We had to cross to get up here. It's gonna be pretty awesome uh, tonight. We are in South Kansas. Uh, we started and hunted at night last night in Oklahoma. Uh, Chase promised thirty coyotes. We shot two, so we've got a lot of killing to do uh, to make up for that number that he promised. And uh, we're we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, Chase says as soon as we start calling, he thinks you're just going to start busting out. So uh, we're all pretty excited. Um, you know, uh, here with a couple good guys. Zach here from Mid America is our optic sponsor. So um, actually, I'm pretty sure most of the optics on these guns all came from Zach. I know mine did. Uh, his obviously did. And Chase's on his, one of his Bergaris at least did. Um, That's so, a beautiful night vision. Yeah, in vision. X35. What so do you got? I got the Halo XRF over here on my rig. Big baller. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know. But anyway, it's going to be a uh, a great night. I'm pretty excited. Uh, stick with us. All right, guys, Will here. Um, I am back home now from the trip. Um, I just kind of want to film a quick little outro. Um, we ended up hunting uh, for two days, uh, and we killed two coyotes. Uh, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but that's coyote hunting. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and make a video. I'm still going to post it for you guys. Uh, we've had nights where we, I mean, just kill a monster pile of them. It happens. And then we have nights where we get skunked or we have nights where we get one or two. Uh, that's kind of what happened on this trip. The first night we shot two coyotes and then, uh, you know, the second night we just didn't really have, uh, the luck we were hoping for. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, that's, that's kind of the way it goes. Um, there's a lot of people out there that, that won't talk about that or won't show it. And, you know, you get on YouTube or you get on Instagram or whatever, and you see all these people and, uh, I mean, they've got piles of coyotes every time, every time. Well, what you don't see is all the dry stands and all the missed coyotes and, um, how many nights they get skunked. I mean, it, it happens. It's part of, part of coyote hunting, part of predator hunting. Um, but end of the day, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, 
We had a great time. I want to uh, definitely thank Chase Hess from Daywalker TV for taking me out. Uh, if it wasn't for him, you know, I wouldn't be able to go. Uh, we got some, some awesome footage in that video. Um, we'll definitely be going out hunting with him again, uh, just a matter of time. Um, we got to test out a lot of our new gear uh, that we're selling and carrying and looking to carry. Uh, the chest pack that I tested out um, had some great things to say about it, had some things I'd like to improve with. Um, and I we talked to the owner of that company and we're working with him to uh, to change some things up a little bit before you know we start carrying stuff. We like to test all of our products before uh, we sell them because we want to make sure we give you guys uh, the best stuff possible. We want to put our stamp of approval on it. Um, but overall, you know, it was a great two days. Uh, I think in the two days, I uh, almost walked 10 miles, I think it was. Uh, we did, did quite a few stands, uh, just didn't really pan out for us. Um, but like I said, that's part of it. I appreciate you guys watching. Tune in. Uh, we're going to have some uh, some great new stuff coming for you guys here really soon. We're nearing the end of the summer, so we're going to start ramping up into full-on coyote season, and it is going to be a great time. Stick with us.